Hi guys, Dino. Um, today I'm with Great Manchester Media again and we're in Rochdale. Um, there is a protest going on. And, um, but before that, we are going to head to the police station here in the town centre. Which is uh, that building there, I believe. Protect your children! Save our kids! 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 Protect 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 our kids! If you're protecting your children, we wouldn't have to be here! Travelling from all around the country! It's over here. <laughs> no, no. Hold it. Oh. We had a big speaker there. <laughs> what do we want? What do we want? Now! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Now! What do we want? Justice!
says it all. They're still walking around with me. They should have been deported six years ago. All right, guys, now you don't mind. Um, we've got a few speeches to make, so I'm going to get on with it. Um, um, there's going to be a few others speaking after me, so I'm going to make a start. Which is what I've come in a little bit. <laughs> Keep coming, guys. Keep it. We're good, guys. He's gonna do some speeches. Thank you. Um, it's all right. Leave them down now. Right, guys, first of all, hello everybody, and I'd like to introduce yourself myself to those who do not know me. I'm Billy Hope and I'm founder of PAC UK. Operating here in Rochdale because of the lack of accountability and the conspiracy into child grooming is which what was before us. Still today we were able to support and help recover survivors of childhood abuse. I'd like to thank everybody here for coming. You have to bear with me because it's a very long speech. <laughs> like you, thanks everybody. I'm going to play that off. I'd like to thank you all in the support to help protect our children here in Rochdale. I'd like to thank all of my team because without you and your dedication and loyalty, we wouldn't be able to help so many survivors. And I can tell you, I can boast what a fantastic team that's helped hundreds of survivors in this town alone. Okay. Before I delve into my speech, I have a statement I'd like to read out on behalf of WAG Women Against Grooming, who have been ever present in the fight against Rochdale's groomers, and the following cover-up. WAG Women Against Groomers, an northwest based support group for grooming gangs and rape victims, have been fighting for two years to get Rauf Khan and Aziz deported. WAG held a protest at Parliament, submitted a parliamentary petition, and listed lawyer Robin Tilbrook to write to Pretty Patel the Home Office demanding they take action, submitted a judicial, judicial review with witness statements. All have either been refused or ignored. Her opinion on this matter is now these men are being protected by somebody. And we would like to know two of them are funding the who, who, who is funding the appeal, the new appeal. That's a message from WAG. They do not want to say anything more than a few words, so I call on the people of Rochdale. Do not vote Labour, do not vote Conservative, as both MPs who refuse to support us in this battle. We will not give up till these monsters have been deported. And that's from WAG. WAG can't make it today, guys, but believe me, they've been ever present in this fight since day zero. So can you give them a big shout and a big round of applause? <laughs> Because we misunderstand the process of deportation, we are fully aware this decision sits with the Home Office. Our march on justice will take us there very soon. We know Rochdale Nick doesn't make these calls, so why are we here today? Firstly, I'd like to cover an historical abuse. No of you. Barrett police like these and other authorities, put your fucking hands down hey, your trousers, hey, have them dangling. Go. Disgrace! Go. Get away from it. Go. Go. Around all this time. Yeah, fuck off. He's got away. 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 He's got He's got He's got He's got He's got He's got He's got
So uh, that guy with the brown jacket on, walking off. Um, apparently people have been saying he's been hanging around here all day. Don't know who he is, but he nearly kicked off then. What the fuck are they doing inside? No. A lot of angry people here, guys. Not surprising, my though. Not surprising. Very. Lots of passion. When it, when Ellie Williams came out with what, what she's gone through, the fucking small minority in Laron and other areas decided to make their little hate groups. You're in there all day yeah. till you're <laughs> Some of them have been done for it, they did the call. What to do so today is operate, Operation Hybrid with us along. We continue to see the people who know you be told no further action. We must stand against this and say, no, for them, we demand accountability. Linda, for 35 years, stood against no view, stood against the oppressing of children. They were beating the shit out of kids. They were raping children. This was the only person in this town at the time that made a stand. Unfortunately for us, she was part of our team. Unfortunately, she died at the start of her COVID. God so bless her. Have a bit of respect. I do love I do He's always here, Billy. He's always here with us. Just a quick one, guys. Girl on the door, though, security. She's asked us to walk around this public area and go around that way. Loves telling people what to do. And the next thing, because they have my camera up, she's putting two fingers up at me. There she is, guys. Weather spoons. All right. What's, what's the name of this pub? What's the name of this? So it's the Regional Moon, Rochdale Town Centre. Tyrants on the door. And control freaks telling people that they can't walk through this public walkway. Anywhere. You all right? What do you think of what do you think of security guards these days with all this lockdown going on? I think they're all right. They're in a good job. Do you? All of them. I think they're all right. You've not seen any tyrants about then? Oh, I have. Just about five minutes ago. See you later. Bye. The protesters are gathering slowly. Um, we've just come across the founder. My name's Billy Owen. Just tell us what's happening there. So today, there's several reasons why we stand today. We uh, have currently been involved in the Rockdale Premier Scandal since its release, since the day uh, the information came public. We was already involved working with survivors. What we do, we work with survivors, we help aid recovery, we expose paedophiles, and we look for justice back because we look for accountability by the establishment. And that's what we do. 
So we're looking at today, there's two things. There's obviously the issue of the deportation of the Rochdale Brig, which is a long going issue, which has been fought for the last six years. Um, they were supposed to be deported after the third appeal, yet they're still here. Um, the survivors of these guys are having to see them delivering takeaway food, having to see them on the street, having to see them shopping. So it's not fair, and it's really traumatising for all survivors involved. So the main aim here today is to try and get the 30 mile law up and running. So what we're looking at is finding anybody who's been convicted of any sexual offence to be banned from being a 30 mile in any distance of anyone who him, him or she has abused. So therefore we won't have to, the survivors won't have to see this person again. What, how many are you expecting to attend today's event? Um, that's how many beans we're going to attend the beans. We put the invite out, we get a good response, we get a poor response, but normally we get a good turnout. So I'm not anything manageable, I'm happy, you know, as long as the people that are here are here for the right reasons and we're here about stopping child abuse, then I'm happy. Um, are you expecting any issues with the police? I've had a good, 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 well, no, we, we, I will be doing a little bit of a speech before we shut off asking people to observe COVID regulations. Um, I am only one man, I can only ask. Um, not everybody buys the COVID malarkey, um, so I can't force it upon people. I'm myself exempt. Um, but yeah, we'll be looking at trying to stick to the rules. So you're expecting to march as well today? Or is it no, just no, well, it's only a short journey from here to the police station, and that's the only place we'll be going because right. we don't want to disrupt the town. The morning, they've been shut for 12 months, we don't want to cause any problems for that side of town. However, this side of town needs to be addressed. But I've tried to minimise the disruption, there's going to be no tra traffic stoppages, and we're going to be going to the police station. There's going to be no road blocking, nothing like that. It's going to be organised properly. Going forward, obviously, if this demo today doesn't achieve anything, what would Next stop's uh, Manchester and Andy Burnham, uh, because he sits at the heart of this, uh, along with his Labour, you know, his Labour team that run the Greater Club, GMCA, the Greater Manchester Police. Greater Manchester Combined Authority, forgive me. Uh, so it's the leaders of that we need to be start aiming at. I mean, this is local. Uh, we're not here today to ask for deportation, because we know the people in that building cannot authorise this. We know this is a home office issue. However, the policing of those people who've been released has been non-existent and that's the problem we're here for today. We're not here to get people deported, we're not going to do that by being here. We're here to stop them people being around the people they abuse. That's why we're here today and that's the stand that we're making. Uh, so there is a, so we announced today there's going to be announced of a petition we call the 30 mile law. Like I've already said, it's going to be for anybody who gets convicted of any sexual offence can no longer live within 30 miles of the person you abuse. I'm looking for everybody to sign away. Um, I'll give you the link, we'll get it up and running. It's something I know will help survivors recover it. Because at the moment, in every town, not just this one, but in every town, they're being re traumatised by having to see the person who abused them in the first place. And that's not on. And what's your message to the local MPs? Local, it, it is get the broad spine, put the children first, you protect and serve. Who do you protect and serve? Um, because as where we see it, it's no longer good for people. Right, thank you. You're welcome. Guys. Thanks very much for that, and it's a fantastic uh, yeah. thing that you're doing. Thank you, guys. Okay. Appreciate it, and thanks for coming along. It's and okay. You're welcome anytime. We'll speak to you a bit later on, yeah, probably. Of next stop will be uh, Andy Burnham's office.